state of search. So it's Monday morning and we see a lot of news coming by again and uh, we're talking to Dave Naylor at the moment in uh, Ripon in the UK and we're going to talk just a little, little short bit about a story which came on TechCrunch this Saturday which uh, was written by Michael Arrington based on a story in the New York Times where Google uh, was alleged to uh, well, uh, not be too honest with one of its advertisers who may have bought links. Um, the TechCrunch story states that search still still sucks and uh, if you want to talk to anybody about how good or bad search engines are it's Dave Naylor so hi Dave hi Macy you read the story um, what do you take make of it uh, it sounds more like I think based on a real story to be absolutely honest with you um, it's one of those ones where uh, some guy gets caught buying links doesn't matter how big the company is uh, Matt Kutz's team found them and penalise them. Uh, where's the story? At? You know, I mean, you know what the rules are. If you break them, then you end up in that situation where J.C. Penney found themselves at the moment. That they're still in the shopping results. So I guess that any penalisation for organics doesn't affect things like shopping <coughs> news and stuff like that, which is always good when you find those little things because at least it means that um, we can learn from it. And I think that's one of the reasons why Google doesn't come out and say. Yay, JC Penny, we just penalize them for link buying here, here, and here. You won't see them in the organics because what happens is that you'll get people like me that will start dissecting, like I say, that I'm seeing number three in the dot com for dresses, which is one of the key terms that was banded around, that they used to rank for. Um, and realistically, they are still number three because the shopping results for dresses, JC Penny's there. So, bravo. Um, the story went on to go about like how, when they first used Google, how awesome it was. Well, I still think it is awesome. You know what I mean? It's like every day I use Google, I'm just kind of like I'm not in awe of them because I, I understand how the whole system works. But I'm kind of like, wow, they still do a really great job. You know what I mean? And it's it's one of those situations where if all of the website owners played by the same rules, then we wouldn't have this problem. It would make Google's job easier. But indexing. Um, what was relevant, what's not. You know what I mean? The problem is, is that you've got businesses that have built up just for manipulating Google. Um, I, personally, myself, I think the JC Penny thing. It's it's sad in a way because it's like okay, from the UK point of view, most UK users won't even know JC Penny is. Um, you know what I mean? But in the states, they're absolutely massive. So when you search for dresses, you actually expect to see JC Penny there. You know what I mean? So what do you do? You know what I mean? It's like from a Google point of view, they want to give the most relevant results to their consumers. But the flip side of it is they don't want to be giving the relevant results that people are cheating. And I don't think JCPenney needed to do that. You know what I mean? They most probably, um, if they just did normal PR pushes and kept so like the head above water on what was going on, that would be fine. But the biggest problem is, is you've got people like Demand Media spewing thousands of pages of content on a, a daily basis near enough and you know I mean it's it's the Mahalo stuff all over again I mean it's like if I'm searching for dresses I don't want to see a, a, a demand media page or a Mahalo page you know what I mean it's like I want to see shops that actually uh, are household names selling dresses online and mix into those organics I want to see smaller boutiques maybe from my local area, which bravo to Google, they've actually started to do. You know, I mean, they've brought maps in for local area stuff. Okay, it makes it a little bit harder for uh, SEOs, but it's good for the consumer. And uh, you know, I mean, during the day, I'm an SEO. At night, I'm a consumer. So I have to have that balance right for me as well. You know, what I mean, the last thing I want to do is do a search in Google and just find a load of crap. You know, what I mean, um, I'm an a photographer and I like messing around with cameras but when I'm searching for stuff what I don't want to see is just AdSense laden websites all over the place that is just regurgitated rubbish um, I, mean, I, I want good knowledgeable websites I mean I want magazine websites and you often find that the sites that you most probably frequent are the ones that have got big budgets the ones that have 
then employed SEO teams to go out and do something stupid for them, and you never find them again. So it's whose fault is that? Is that Google's fault for not returning relevant results, or is that the website owner for just being kind of like stupid and doing, you know, what I mean, stupid things? It's it's a tough call. You know, what I mean, I don't think that. I mean, the story is a nothing story. I mean, the, the asking the question does AdWords actually influence organics? It, I've never seen it, you know, in my years um, of doing this, I've never seen someone who's spending millions and millions and millions on PPC get any kind of real boost in organics. It may open up doors when you are trying to ask questions and get to the relevant people, but again, go to conferences, it'll open up the same doors, you don't have to be a multi-million pound PPC guy to get out the people in Google that you can fire an email over to. Um, and as long as you're within the rules that Google have laid out to play in their search engine, there shouldn't be any real issues. Um, I think search is getting better. I think Google is getting better. Uh, I think that the recent attacks on Bing, um, I can understand why they did it. You know what I mean? They, it's, I think the timing was wrong. I think that some of the, the way that they, they handled it was wrong. Um, but I can understand why it would be annoying, you know what I mean? If I found that all the stuff that we did from an SEO point of view, we left on Google Docs and we left them open, then all of a sudden, and someone broke into that Google Docs area or just found it by accident and started using exactly the things that we did, then is that my fault because someone's copying my SEO techniques? I don't think so, you know what I mean? It's like. Is it their fault that they, they thought, oh, and if Dave Naylor's got Google Docs set up and they find it by accident? You know what I mean? Um, it, you know what I mean? Is, is that the situation? You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's that mixture, if that makes sense, of what Bing was doing, I think was absolutely fantastic. You know what I mean? They were using their customers from Internet Explorer, which is it's fine. You know what I mean? It's like, where does the customer stop becoming a customer? You know what I mean? If they're using your operating system and they're using your um, explorer, you know what I mean, your browser, is that really your customer? When they leave the, the Microsoft environment and go on to Google, does that by de facto become a Google customer? Or is it still an Internet Explorer customer? Or is it both customers? Yeah. And, and, that, and that's, you know what I mean, that to me is like the essence of of that whole thing, you know what I mean? The fact that if the, if the, if they in brought out a plugin for Chrome, they did exactly the same thing. I could, you know, what I mean, I could honestly see um, Google being very, very, very upset about that. They didn't, you know what I mean? Um, if they brokered a deal to get Firefox to change to uh, an Omni browser, so that you've only got that one box at the top, and ship it with the default Bing, I could understand Google getting upset about that. But I don't think Google could stop that. You know what I mean? It's like I'm surprised that Microsoft's new browser isn't more omni. You know what I mean? Why have these search boxes that allows search engines to put more information and more data into there? Um, sorry, we just got a delivery. Okay. I'm just pointing upstairs. Um, yeah, you do it in a live office. This is what you get. Um, so yeah, so it's very much on the lines of, you know what I mean, that, that's the A, B and C, you know what I mean, it's like you've got a customer base that you track. I noticed that the new Firefox 4 beta, you've got a switch in there that says, don't track me. It'll destroy cookies as you leave websites. Um, I think that's most probably the future. I think IE9 is most probably going to have a sim very similar kind of thing in there. And there's already a plugin for Chrome that does exactly the same thing. So. Tracking your privacy online is kind of like still in its like infancy, but I think that'll come out. Um, you know what I mean? And and the more Google can get me as a, a signed in user, the more they can deliver me relevant search results. So for one, I'm in, I'm in favour of that. I think what Google's doing is a great job. Um, so it's an it's another non-story from TechCrunch, yeah. unfortunately. So what we can conclude from this week and last week's stuff is that it's all a lot of, a lot of fuss about nothing. It's, it's, it's almost search engine politics. 
Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, it really, it really, it's not, it's not good for the industry to see the two big guys slugging it out. Um, and in the same respect, it is good for the industry. You know what I mean? We like to see people like Matt Cutts still passionate about Google. You know what I mean? That's what we want. You know what I mean? I'd like to see uh, uh, someone from being, you know what I mean, take that Matt Cutts role. The same way as Tim Mayer did for Yahoo. Um, I think the closest that Bing has got at the moment is most probably Mel Carson. Um, but he's an ad guy. You know what I mean? It's like no offence to Mel or ad guys. Um, but he's not a search guy, you know what I mean? We need someone from being now to sort of like be that search guy, be the person that gives helpful information, um, which yeah. is always hard. Okay. Thanks a lot, Dave. No problem, mate.